Hi friends, so today we begin lecture 80 in the helicopter dynamics class and today I'm going to discuss ground resonance. I'm Dr. Ranjan Ganguly. It's amazing how far we have come in the class with 80 lectures. So ground resonance is a dynamic instability caused by coupling of the blade lag motion and the hub in plane motion. So that's interesting to remember. It would not happen if there was no hub. So this is the first time we are encountering a coupled motion between the blade and the hub. And so here you are going to see that uh, we will use some of the FCT transforms and so on. Now the word resonance is used because it is an instability and one of the lag frequencies once converted in the fixed frame becomes equal to the support frequency. And that's the source of this particular resonance condition. Now it is called ground resonance because it takes place when the helicopter is on the ground. So that is as opposed to air resonance, which is a different phenomenon which takes place when the helicopter may be in flight itself. Now the landing gear and supporting structure are important for this instability because as I have mentioned before, there is coupling between the lag motion and the body motion. So the body here is the landing gear, the supporting structure and so on. Remember the helicopter is on the ground when this resonance takes place. Now it is a mechanical instability. Therefore, the aerodynamic forces do not play an important role in this. And ground resonance is a problem for soft in-plane rotors. That means the lag frequency is less than one, which is the case of most rotors in general. Also, it is a violent instability which can result in a catastrophe. And if you check out YouTube or some other places, you will find videos where helicopters have been destroyed in tests through ground resonance. So this is something which is interesting. It's very catastrophic instability. Now, one of the major considerations whenever you are designing a helicopter is that you should not have ground resonance. And um, one of the first things to do is to select the operating rotor speed such that there is no possibility of resonance at or near this speed. So this is very important because that's the speed at which the rotor is going to sit on the ground for quite some time in some cases. So you certainly want to select that speed very carefully so that there is no resonance here. Now, one of the things which can help to mitigate ground resonance is lag mode damping. And whenever you see lag mode dampers placed in a typical helicopter. So all helicopters will typically have a mechanical lag damper near the root of the blade. And this essentially provides extra lag mode damping beyond what is provided by just the pure structural damping. Now, the first dampers were all hydraulic dampers, but later elastomeric lag dampers were developed. Essentially, some visco elastic type of materials are used in some of these dampers and also the electroreological fluid based lag dampers have been developed where essentially some electric fields are used to activate the presence of damping so this is a broad area of research and there are companies and labs which are working on developing better lag dampers remember lag dampers are quite expensive so there is a lot of research and development possibility in bringing out better lag dampers which will help to improve the safety of these vehicles as well as reduce the cost. Now, because lag dampers are expensive, some people have expended a lot of effort in enhancing the lag mode damping through structural couplings. For example, when we are using composite structures, there is a possibility of using pitch flap coupling and some of these different ply layup sequences and so on in a composite structure to improve the lag mode damping. And sometimes these things are done through parametric studies, but sometimes people have also used formal optimization methods to actually maximize the lag mode damping in a composite helicopter rotor. And they have used some kind of mathematical model here for this problem. So essentially, this is where your rotorcraft codes become very useful because you can use rotorcraft codes to give you the predicted lag damping for a problem using flow case stability and so on. And then you can use this using optimization to develop the particular 
fly layup which should be there in the helicopter to maximize the lag damping. Now this type of instability is also possible when the helicopter is in flight. This is called air resonance and this is a problem in stiff hingeless rotors. So essentially these are rotors which are having lag frequencies of greater than one per rev. So in these particular peculiar situations, you get this possibility of air resonance. Again, that problem can also be mitigated by using lag damper. So whenever there is ground resonance, air resonance, lag dampers become very important. And therefore, we need to make sure that the lag mode is very well damped whenever you are flying a helicopter rotor. So that was a brief introduction on ground resonance. We are going to spend the next few lectures in going into detailed derivations on how to calculate the ground resonance for a helicopter. So I will see you then in those videos.